Um, looking back at the film from Saturday night, uh, just defensively, what what did you see there that, that you think can realistically be improved upon over the next few weeks? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can improve on a lot of things. Sometimes you got to give the other team some credit. They had a couple guys who shot the ball like they haven't shot all year. So uh, we've been, we, we have to be more consistent in our details. I think that's the one thing we've been talking about throughout the entire season. And that's some of the things we got to talk about. Uh, I thought in the game, they beat us to a lot of 50-50 balls. We talked about that a lot after watching the film. Uh, we had some breakdowns in our OBs. So we talked about that a lot about. And those are small things that beat you in the game. And that's one of the things that they beat us in on, on, on Saturday. Uh, you got to get Tennessee credit. Uh, Joshua James had an unbelievable game. I don't know if he shot like that all season. Uh, and you can see that from the start. That's the one thing when we went back. He and Ziegler were very aggressive to start the game. I don't know if they've been like that to start during their season. But we thought the biggest parts of the game was 50-50s because they scored on them. And a couple of OBs because they scored on them. And now in a game that is seven, you've given up 10 points and out of bounds plays. And they scored on, I want to say, seven points on 50 50 balls. In a game in which, you know, you had your opportunities to come back again, those things hurt you. And I think that's probably one of the biggest things we talked about in the game. Rob mentioned afterwards that some of the defense may just be effort. How much is it just effort and attentiveness as opposed to actual? I think it's a little bit of both. But I'll be honest with you guys, I've been doing this for a long time. You have those situations with young players. And you struggle with it sometimes because, honestly, they're not used to it. I know we're, we're really talented, but we're doing something that nobody thought that we could do when we're freshmen because nobody else is winning with freshmen in the country, and we are. And so now you have those games where, you know what, your attention to detail got to be better because the other guys, they play with a lot of older players, and they actually pay attention to the detail. And you know what? And those guys come out with a little bit more intensity because they get it because they've been in 100 basketball games and you haven't. So those are the, the, the lessons that you don't want to learn <laughs> through losses, but those are the lessons that you learn sometimes. And to be honest with you, you know, we've, we've had that. We've had our ups and downs with that. And uh, uh, hopefully going forward, we see it. You know what I mean? You see it. You're in a game with a, two top ten teams. You see the intensity that it brings every, all, all the time. Uh, and like I said, the, the importance to the details that you have to bring with it. So hopefully we've, uh, we've learned that through this week uh, because some of our stuff, we lost the game, just didn't pay attention to detail. A detail got to be better. Being a young team, how do you help them put these last two games behind them when you're going into a road environment, Vanderbilt coming off their first SEC? Uh, again, we go back to the same things we've been talking about, uh, being more detailed, watching it on film coming out, practicing it a little bit. Uh, practices are a little bit different now because it's because of the quick turnarounds and you can't be out there beating each other to death all the time. But uh, that's where film work comes in. You talk about film work, you sort of break it down for them that way. When you can get on the court, you uh, you know, you know talk about the things that you want to do, you know, do a little bit better. Uh, as a coaching staff, we probably simplify things a little bit more, uh, try to do those types of things, make it, I want to say not make it a little easier for them, but, you know what I mean? I'll try to give them too much. So we, we've been a pretty good team all season. Let's just go back to doing some of the things. But some of the things we don't do right, we're understanding now we play certain teams, they're going to bite us in the butt. Talking about film work, what did you see from the Commodore so far? What do you like from them? What are some things that maybe they struggle with without giving too much away? Uh, I mean, they're going to, like, like Cal always says, we're going to get everybody's best shot. <laughs> so, so we expect them to, to play at their best. Uh, last year, they really beat us off the dribble when we played them. So uh, we expect for them to do a lot of that this, uh, again this year, uh, the way they play, because they have a lot of the same guys back. Uh, they gave us some problems last year. Uh, you know, one thing about when you play Vandy, uh, 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 Stackhouse makes you almost guard the entire floor. It's always some action on all the time, weak side, strong side. There's an action that you're guarding. He never lets you just rest on the other side or be in a certain position on the other side. He always makes you react to something. So that's the tough thing about playing against him in the last couple of years, that he makes you guard the entire floor. And you have to coach against a Calipari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Brad out there. So we was hoping he was playing, but he just coached it in this one. <laughs> but, uh, 
But no, nah, you know, I'm happy for him. He loves it out there. I talk to him all the time. So, so he, he loves Stackhouse. He thinks he's a great guy, good, good coach. So, uh, so, you know, he's enjoying it. How has the morale been with some of these young guys and maybe how have some of the more veteran players kind of talked them through these losses? Uh, I think our morale has been, been good. Uh, you know, we ain't been losing to no bums. You know what I mean? So we've been playing against some tough teams. Like I said, we, we, we got to focus in on what we need to, to do to go forward because I mean, we're not going to play. This league is really good. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of games like that. Uh, we're going to have a lot of close games. So we got to learn to focus on them, focus in on what we need to do. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing right there. But from a morale standpoint, I mean, the guys are down. We've lost two tough games. Uh, but I think the guys, their spirits are good. I think that's the key. Along those lines, Cal, he wasn't necessarily positive Saturday night, but he was talking about the guys need to keep the faith. How, how difficult is it with a bunch of young guys to kind of walk that balance of keep their spirits up but also hold them accountable with this stuff you guys are seeing that needs to change? I think we are 15-6, and six, right? Okay. We're still a top 10. Probably, we probably won't be top 10, but we're going to be a top 10, 20 team. Top 20 team in the country, so okay. Your spirit should be up because, honestly, you're playing good basketball. We lost some tough games, but we're still playing good. Uh, we, we're a good team. We know that. All right, now let's just focus on what we need to do to be even better. I think, uh, I think we've won enough games against some good teams to know we, we got a chance. We just got to focus on the things and get better with our detail. We're not 6 and 15. We're 15 and 6. We have to remember that sometimes. <laughs> so, and the team that we played, we both had the same record, uh, and we lost a tough one to them. Uh, and this league is tough. Like I said, this is the, there's no nights off in the, in, in the SEC. And uh, we got to focus on what we need to do to get better. And if we do that, we'll be fine because we're talented enough to beat anybody. We've seen it. We've shown that. Uh, but uh, if, if you want, we don't, we're not down because we're a bad team. And we're down because we lost and we want to get better. So that type of stuff uh, uh, I feel good about in terms of us moving forward. Bruiser, Cal mentioned after the game about a couple of out-of-bounds plays the two plays where Connect got dunks off the inbounds underneath the basket, what, what should have happened defensively on those plays? I just no, no communication, and that's the bottom line. Because your depth has been such a strength of this team, obviously more limited here recently. What challenges does that pose not only to the coaching staff but to the guys who are having to step up and play more minutes while some other teammates are unavailable? I've all uh, – uh, uh, <laughs> uh, how do, you, how do they say sometimes the sum is better than the whole of its parts? That, that's, that's how, that's how yeah, they say it. Right. And I think we've learned that a little bit by having some guys, some key guys out. Uh, I always thought our rotation for our guards was really good to start the season. We haven't had that lately. And we've taken our lumps a little bit with it. Uh, so we get healthy. Uh, I think we'll be fine. That's another big part of it. But I'll be honest, we haven't had a full team all season. So. Uh, when we do get our depth, when we do get guys back, and you know we really, I think we'll be fine. Going back to the no communication on the OB plays, one, do you think that changes when everybody gets back and everybody kind of is able to get on the same page? Uh, no. Nah. DJ, now, how, how big of a communicator is he when he's out there? Uh, I mean, I think he's good. I think he brings a different mentality. I think the guys will tell you that you, you interviewed the guys when DJ was out before, and they tell you how he is. Uh, but I think he communicates not just in the game, but with the, within our team, the huddles and things like that. We're a little bit more organized. He's more of a leader in that respect. Uh, so you always you always miss that. You know, he's our point guard. You always miss that. But uh, uh, I always say when you deal with young guys, talking one of the biggest things, which is communication, turnovers. We don't turn the ball over, and that's one reason why I think we've had more success than people would think when you have a uh, uh, a young team. But the communication thing when you have young kids is always, always, always an issue. So we just got to get better at that. Here's a Kyle mentioned after the game, maybe we need to sit down with Trey to kind of just see where he's at the last couple games. Is he playing through something, or what have you seen the last couple games? Uh, I think a little bit about how teams are playing them. Uh, we still want Trey to be aggressive. Uh, so, you know, we've played him a lot of minutes. We know that. Uh, so... Uh, uh, with the dude coming back, we hope we can help out with that a little bit. Uh, but we still want Trey to be aggressive. Um, you know, he has he he, he he seems to be I look seems to be a little tired. We played him played him a lot of minutes, but uh, we're 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 working on that a little bit.
Bruiser, once you guys do get to full strength and, and have a full roster of players available, like what can we expect in terms of a ramp up time for how long that's going to take to gel? Because it's still probably going to be a couple game process for your your rotations. Uh, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't. The guys who have been out have played already, so it's just about it, just just getting yourself back into it. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say uh, we played with a do. We played with uh, with DJ. So, I mean, that's not an issue. We just got to get him back. Uh, that's the problem. Dude's back now. But, you know, we played with DJ. Justin came back. You know, he was out for a game. So, uh, uh, we just got to get him back. And once we get him back, I think things will be fine. Any updates on player availability then for tomorrow? Not that I know of. Any, any update? Not that I know of. I know Z was sick the other night, but but even before that, Cal was talking about just being behind defensively, which I'm sure is to be expected. What what specifically are you guys working on with him, um, and uh, what's realistic for him with only about <laughs> five six weeks in the season left? Uh, again, I think for Z is probably long term, more so than short term, because it's hard to bring somebody in in February. So and even when you're practicing. And unfortunately, Z been a little injured and he's been a little sick. So he's missed his practice time too. So I think for Z is down the road. You know what I mean? Just having him, she said, look, you know, we're going to s try to slide you in, you know, slowly. But down the road, when we really get into it, SEC tournament, NCAA tournament, we'll see where we are to really for him to make an impact. But he got a lot to learn. Uh, uh, and like I said, it's unfortunate. He's been sick at times, he got injured a little bit. So that's that's one of the things that's been hard. How, how tough is it after that Georgia game? What he did in his first couple shifts? Hey man, realize hey. Those expectations but you know you, you know you at Kentucky now. Y'all 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 put him at God status. <laughs> 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 y'all put him at God status, and then he sort of came down a little bit. But uh, that was that was an unbelievable uh, debut, right? I mean, what can you say? Uh, but again. Even in that game, although you guys didn't know, uh, no, he was in the wrong spot. He just made shots. <laughs> but, but I mean, I think Z, when it's all said and done, I think he'll help us. But we have a pretty good game plan for him going forward. How has Aaron kind of handled his new role a little bit? And what do you guys need to see for him, from him to get him out there a little more? What do you mean his new role? Like coming off the bench. He was starting a bunch of games. Now he's not playing as much. Uh, I mean, I just think Ugo's been playing really well. And I think Cal does an unbelievable job of letting you know, hey, listen, be ready. You don't have your time. Ugo's been playing great. So Ugo's, he's in there right now. If Aaron was the other way, he'd be saying the other thing to Ugo. Uh, so in that respect, I don't think it's, it's a big deal. Uh, but Aaron's, you know, he's been, he's, he's, when he's gotten in the game, he's been fine. So, but, you know, Cal, I think, does a really good job of explaining that to players about your your opportunity and being ready and all those things like that. Cal talks about that a lot. With Ugo, Cal's talked in the past about him kind of. He said he's kind of like a sponge uh, mentally that he you don't have to tell him the same thing twice that he, he watches and observes. Have, have you noticed that over these past couple seasons? No, I, I, I'll be honest with you. When my uh, last year uh, in the summertime, when I uh, uh, do a lot of this stuff with the team, uh, that was one of the things I observed. It was like I was like, you know, he picks this stuff up pretty quick because he didn't come. When everybody else came, you know, he came a little later. And I was like, okay. And you, you, you hope for players like that. Uh, so, uh, but he's been good. I mean, he's been great. He's a great kid. He works his butt off. He does. He plays to his strengths. I mean, that's the thing. That's all you can ask for. And like Cal said, he's, he's, he's like a sponge. You tell him something, he knows how to do it. I don't know how we've gone this long. No one's asked about Rob's 35 points. I feel like I have to get your take on, <laughs> on that performance and also how hard it is to have a career game like that and not walk off with a win. How have you seen him handle that? Uh, I mean, I think you have to ask him that uh, more so than me. I, th I thought he played great, and we know he can score. Uh, you know, he got it going. I mean, he, he, you know, a team like Tennessee who plays the defense that they play, they, they're a top five defensive team, and you have a guy that just can just break you down and get baskets. That's hard. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, we lost the game, but I think you have to ask him more about that. But I think, you know, we never, we, we haven't talked about it. We haven't said, he hasn't said I had 35 points. He, he, like, it hasn't come up or anything like that in terms of what we've been talking about or meeting about. Nobody's really said it. You know, everybody knows he had a good game. We, we see the stat sheet, but nobody is, you know, he hasn't walked around. You see, I had 35. He didn't, he didn't say that. You know what I mean? We're just moving on to the next game.
Anything else for Ruth? We good? I got one last one. Um, you talked a little bit about these last couple games and how the teams are much older than you guys, maybe much more physical size-wise. Um, you know, got a lot of tall guys on the team, but maybe some of them are a little bit thinner compared to some of these guys we've been going up against. How do you kind of coach or where can you coach and improve someone like Aaron or Z to, to box out or there's some certain techniques that they can maybe use when they're maybe down 25, 30 pounds against some of these older dudes who are pushing 25, 50 years Well, something. I will say this. After South Carolina, you pretty much know you know it's coming. I mean, that's, that's, how, you, that's how you explain it. I mean, we, you teach box out and all that stuff like that, but in the end it's about you doing it. But I think everybody knows that after we lost to South Carolina and how physical they played us, that's the way most teams are going to try to play us. Uh, whether you can actually play us that way, I mean, that's a different question. But, uh, you know, that's the, if, if I'm playing against a young team, I'm saying the same thing. Let me see how they handle their physicality. they just coming out of high school. You know what I mean? We're sort of men. So I would do that. So, but we know what's coming. We talk about the things. Box out. A little bit is more is about will than anything else. Your will to do the things that we've been teaching the whole time. Now we got a guy up your back. Now you see how important it is. So I mean, that's that's probably the most important thing right there. So, but I think our guys have handled it a lot better uh, since that game. I think we've been a lot better with that type of stuff. But we're gonna still get it because we're still young. So.